Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Budget Stacker. Today we got a massive box. A massive box full of Christmas gift silver with a Christmas theme on it. So uh, I also got a little gift for myself, which is to house one of my newer acquisitions of silver. Um, so if you're interested in finding out what Christmas silver looks like, stay tuned. Here we go. All right, the silver is, uh, this felt or package is too big for my camera set up here. So I will slice and dice this, take this off camera, and get a nice little view of other silver in the meantime. All right, let me gently move this out of the way and get this thing open. Sorry for the package noise. Hey, well, didn't expect that. Uh, it is a box within a box. Okay. Well, let's see. It's going to be that. And see what we got here. Now, the whole idea of this particular purchase um, was essentially to get some silver that I could give away to family and friends. A little bit of silver. I'm not going to give that to everybody. Just um, uh, certain people. Let me take this off here because it's um, pretty well taped up. And get out without hurting myself here. Okay. <clears throat> well, I've got a massive amount of filler, I think. <laughs> okay. And then, the, okay, it does appear to be just filler. So nothing too interesting there. Keep that aside. And a package. And a box. Pretty sure I know what's in that. Okay. Alright, well, save the box for later. Um, and we'll get into the Christmas silver first. Alright, so my paperwork is in here somewhere. Let me just take this off the side for a moment. And the tough part about opening up these packages with gloves on is it wants to tear your gloves apart. Okay. Let me just sneak that secret paperwork out of there first. And let's see what we got here. That box had a pretty good variety of Christmas silver. Sorry about that. Pretty good prices, um, believe it or not. Rat Max, so I'll save that one for last. <laughs> so, okay. All right. First one up is a nativity scene. Let's take these out so we can get a better look at them. A bit easier said than done with these gloves on. <clears throat> now, a lot of people um, don't necessarily collect or I think it's a good idea to, to collect seasonal silver and I can understand that you know because it's something that's relevant for that period of time in the year but I thought these would be really nice gifts so uh, that's why I got these so it says Merry Christmas 2022 tells them it's one ounce fine silver so they don't think it's just something plated and check it away but I wanted to kind of introduce some uh, family members just uh, into the shiny silver metal. And I thought this is a great way to do it. Of course, the nativity scene is um, the basis for Christmas. I know a lot of people celebrate it in a secular way, but um, to me that uh, has a very great significance. Um, let's see, this is <clears throat> Royal Tudor Beast. Oh yeah, this was not really Christmas related. Uh, but this is kind of a, a little bonus for me, giving myself a Christmas gift here. All right. Ooh. All right. 
Yeah, is this a... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can feel the weight. It's a two-ouncer. It's the um, Silver Royal Tudor Beast. And the Yale... Yale of Bo Beaufort. I'm assuming is how it's pronounced. And my tweezers are nowhere to be found. So I'll just take this out. I'm all gloved up anyway. All right. Very fine. I like the texture behind the Yale. Nice weight at two ounces. Always love two ounce coins. Uh, there is the queen before King Charles. All right, that is, that's a beautiful coin. Hopefully you can see it up close. I think just really nicely done. Okay, a beautiful coin from the Royal Met. I'll stick that here to the side for now. <clears throat> the real theme is Christmas, so let's stay on that theme. This is the one ounce silver round for Santa. Okay, let's see what Santa looks like here. Okay, he looks very jolly. Okay, not going to say who's going to get these, just in case they're watching, but I don't think they're watching. But yeah, Merry Christmas on the other side. It's kind of cool. It's got the year on it, so they'll remember when they got it. Uh, it is a silver round. Not a, a coin, but... Uh, very nice depiction of Santa. Okay, I'm going to put him off here for a moment. <clears throat> okay, here is another one. This is a Christmas truck. One ounce silver round. Again, this is going to be a gift. It's not going to be part of my stack, so... Okay, Merry Christmas. It's got a nice Christmas truck there. And it's got a really cool looking truck. Okay. And then Merry Christmas on the side. Again, it's got the date on it, so that's kind of cool. All right. <clears throat> okay, next one up. Oh, I think I got two of those. Okay, so I got two of those. There's another one. I'm going to stick these in, uh, you know, capsules just so it's a little more um, presentable for them. I think I got one of these to keep. Uh, I have a couple few people to give those to. Okay, and here is another one. <clears throat> uh, this is a snowman somewhere around. Okay, another Christmas theme on that one. Okay. All right. Very nicely done, snowman. Okay, like the little snowflakes in the back. Now some good texturing on his snow body. And again, and this one says Happy Holidays uh, 2022, more of a generic type Christmas round. Okay, <clears throat> and on the last one here, this doesn't look very Christmassy. But this is a one ounce silver building block bar. It's kind of like in the Lego fashion. Never had one of these. Um, but I know somebody who really is into building the architectural uh, Lego models. So I thought he might enjoy this. One ounce, one toy ounce of three nines fine silver. And a, it's kind of not an official Lego, but kind of Lego <laughs> fashion. So I think he'll hopefully appreciate that. Maybe I'll include it in one of the cornerstones of his models. Who knows? Okay. <clears throat> well, the other part is in this box. Oh, this is what I got essentially to house my very first slab coin. I would make something kind of cool and elaborate for that. Um, I don't anticipate getting a whole lot of those, honestly, to be really honest. Um, but I did have one. Oh, and one slab uh, coin. 
a recent um, Roman denarius that I had purchased. Let me move these out of here so I don't mar them with the box. Okay. All right. Oh. Uh, oh, it's a little defective. Maybe they want me to glue it on there. I don't know. Uh, okay. I guess I'm going to glue that back on there. Uh, okay, that's good. All right, so it looks like it's got some nice kind of rubberized slots for slabs. Obviously, I'm not planning on getting a whole lot, as you can see here. But I did have my one and only Roman denarius slab. And I thought, since I had one... Oops, did I crunch something down there? What was that? Made a funny crunching sound. Oh, maybe the glue's coming off on that one too. Alright. Wow, there it is. I'll probably get a few more at some point, but you know, I'm not as into the collecting part as I am the more bullion stacking part, some collectibles and you know different things like this. But these were really cheap, by the way, so um no, relatively cheap, a slight, slight over um, the cheapest, cheapest ones you could find out there because they're seasonal. But I got them at a time when, uh, you know, the prices were pretty good. So, um, yeah, and they're gifts. But I, this is my gift to me because I wanted a nice little place to house my one and only slab. <laughs> so I'll probably get more, but still, it's nice to have, you know, a place uh, for those few slabs I plan on getting, I'll put it right in the middle. How's that? Yeah, if it's nice and snug, that is a little defect on the top there. I have to get my own glue and fix that. So maybe this has been in storage for a while and the glue just gave out. But all in all, it doesn't look so bad. And uh, a nice little place to store those slabbed uh, silver and gold, hopefully. So yeah, that's it. That's what I'm, what I've got for Christmas gifts. Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, but that'll be going out uh, soon um, for the Christmas season. I just thought it would be a nice idea to uh, give a little silver this Christmas, um, a little something substantial uh, that um, my loved ones uh, can have for posterity. So. Um, that's about it. Hope you like the Christmas silver video. If you do, please give us a thumbs up. Always would love to have your subscription as well. Uh, do thank you for watching uh, till this um, ending period and hope you're having a great evening, day, morning, dusk, whatever it happens to be. God bless and take care.